Right, Time Bandits, another Taika Waititi fail. Did you not know this? Yeah, there was a Time Bandits reboot for Apple TV. Uh, it's been cancelled. Yep. Sort of came out with a fart on a whimper. No one really cared. No one bothered to watch it. Obviously. Who the hell cares about this? Like, honestly, who the hell cares about this? Uh, but obviously it's been cancelled by Apple TV Plus and not really a surprise. So we'll take a look. It's quite comical. Taika Waititi seems to be just getting failure after failure now. And I think, you know, Taika Waititi needs to stay on his own properties. He needs to stay with what he does uh, best, which is his own properties. You know, you, you, you either like Taika Waititi or you don't when he's doing his own thing. Uh, but... It, <laughs> Near universally, when he's attached to something which isn't his, it's always shit. Like, it's always shit. Uh, I think he had a bit of a fluke with that Thor uh, Ragnarok. But everything else, yeah, no. Ugh. His own stuff, though, actually genuinely can be really heartfelt. Um, Jojo Rabbit, for instance. You know, there's some shocking moments in that. Um, what we do in the shadows. People love that. But yeah, Taika Waititi, another L. So let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a report by Deadline. And they broke this news yesterday. And it says the following. Look, Time Bandit's latest adventure has come to an end. Apple TV Plus has opted not to renew the series adaptation of Terry Gilliam's cult classic film for a second season. Now, the news comes almost a month after the 10-episode first season of the fantasy series starring Lisa Kudrow, ended its run. It was released in batches of two episodes weekly. And this is the cast of The Time Bandits. Okay, anyway, so the development is not entirely surprising, despite the nostalgia factor, which people are very wise to now. People are sick to death of member berries sort of being thrown at them, especially when, you know... It, or the only nostalgia that's applicable to something like this is the fact that you have resurrected an old property. Like Willow, for instance. You've resurrected an old property that you know people liked. And you've now sort of subverted its sort of quintessential essence into something which people don't recognise. But you're using the moniker that people did recognise uh, as a means to attract an audience. People are wise to that now. But yeah, so despite the nostalgia factor and most favourable reviews, 70, well, mostly, sorry, favourable reviews, 78% on Rotten Tomatoes, Time Bandits, created by Jermaine Clement, Ian Morris and Taika Waititi, did not attract large enough audience and was not able to crack the Nielsen top 10 streaming rankings. I mean, that's really bad. Apparently, though, the series did actually do well in the UK. Hmm. But that, I mean, that does actually make sense because... That's where the movie, I guess, sort of came from to a degree. <clears throat> uh, and it's also the contemporary setting as well. So it uh, kind of makes sense that it would do better here than elsewhere. Now it says here, look. After the initial round of the streaming wars uh, were gaining market share was the sole objective, streamers have been applying a more disciplined approach in their shift to profitability with big budget scripted series like Time Bandits under particular scrutiny tasked with clearing a higher viewership bar in order to continue. Basically, what they should have done from the very start, it's weird that they didn't do this, but whatever, these people apparently just have endless money. Uh, so the cancellation ends a long journey that started more than six years ago, when Apple TV Plus acquired the rights to the beloved 1981 movie for a series adaptation produced by the now defunct Paramount Television Studios, Anonymous Contents, AC Studios, and MRC. So in Time Bandits, Kevin Cal L. Tuck, Interesting. An 11 year old history buff finds a time egress in his wardrobe and meets the eponymous crew of expert thieves. Guided by Kudrow's Penelope, the bandits embark on epic adventures while evil forces threaten their conquest and life as they know it. As the group transports through time and space, the gang stumbles upon fascinating worlds of the distant past while seeking out treasures depending on Kevin, uh, depending on Kevin to shed light on each situation. So, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. So, for those that don't know, Clement Morris and Watiti, executive produced, wrote and directed select episodes with Clement and Morris serving as co-showrunners. So, it is still another Taika Watiti failure because it was his 
Oh, I mean, it was it was his humour. And season one featured a special guest appearance by Watiti and Clement. So, like, instantly putting people off. When will people learn that Watiti's not a draw? And it's interesting here, right? Like, some of the comments. This speaks more to where society is than anything else. A show my kids could actually watch. Wake up parents. The show was a gift during a time when most shows are not. Look, maybe. But also, don't, don't just keep resurrecting stuff. Loved it. It really sucks they cancelled this and the story won't be completed. So few shows I enjoy anymore and they tend to get cancelled out of the gate. When a second season isn't ordered right away, then these shows need to be self-contained seasons which do not end on a cliffhanger. It's a cheat to the audience. I'll agree with that. So disappointed to the five people who watched it. It's true. Um, but yes, I say 78% from the critics, but 48% from the audience. So yeah. No, 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 massive surprise. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at this here. Again, 48%. Not great. The reviews were not great at all. In fact, I can't even click. Why can't I click on them? Oh my God, it annoys me. Hold on, let's click on season one and then click on them. Right, here we go. 48%. So yeah, let's have a look at some of these reviews. Because it wasn't massively positive. Uh, this could have been so much better. Kalal Tuck is very good as Kevin, the uh, kid who is a viewer's lens to history. It's a terrible hollow remake with none of the charm and fun of the original. Where is the tiker of what we do in the shadows? Yep, he just doesn't care anymore. Think horrible histories without the wit, script, and some of the casting are really awful. Ugh. Some of it's positive, by the way, obviously. Uh, everyone and everything in the show is annoying, and most everyone and everything is unlikable. We're not annoyed. I was bored. <laughs> it was just a bunch of irritating, dim-witted attempts at comedy. Again, Taika Waititi strikes again. No way as good as the original. It was a terrible Monty Python gone wrong sketch. Not silly, but outright stupid. Does not parallel the original well. Lisa Kudrow's character is more moronic, if possible, than her, ca than her role in Friends. All members of the gang are painfully dysfunctional to the point where the ignorant youngster comes off as the smartest. Ugh. This level of general dumb is probably not suited for anyone, even children. Yeah, there you go. What else do you say? Again, another Taika Waititi bomb. My heart bleeds for Time Bandits 2.0. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now. <laughs>